today's episode I'm going to show you how to take this old Razer E300 wheel uh, with the drum brake and replace it with the Xiaomi M365 disc. So I won't be able to complete the whole process today because I do think it's going to need a bit of welding. Uh, so I've started off by re removing the wheel and the idea is we're going to remove this drum brake um, here. So if you just basically take the nut off one side, you have to pull it all out. And that's obviously that's your old drum brake there. Um, it works, it just doesn't look as cool. So we're going to replace it with this uh, disc. And what's going to happen is there is another video floating around where the guy um, grinds this whole section off of this wheel. Um, looked a bit dangerous but it did do the job he done a, he done a cracking job I must admit it just seemed like a lot of effort for um, you know the same outcome so I tried it on my other scooter which isn't an E300 but it, it's it's another version of the E300 uh, just made by a different company I've tried it and it works so obviously I might as well try it for this one so this is what you want you want to take the drum brake off and we're gonna replace it stick this over the top because we know that this disc here is perfectly straight so there's no reason to start cutting it and trying to get something perfectly straight when it's already there so basically all you want to do is these holes in this disc you're going to drill through into the backing plate and then we're going to stick some bolts in uh, from the back tying up from the front and you've got a disc brake uh, so this is the caliper from the um, Xiaomi M365 uh, really good build quality not sure about the colour, but we, we can live with it. It should sit in there like so. Uh, should sit in there like so, and it shouldn't affect anything that's going on there. And we have a cool looking braking system. So what you want to try and do is place that onto the uh, drum disc. And then what we're going to do, we're going to drill through these holes uh, and line them up. What I'll probably do is I'll probably use a drill, bigger drill brick than the actual bolts so I'll have a little bit of play um, just so obviously if it's slightly off I can adjust it and tighten it up and uh, bob to your uncle. Right, we'll start off with the smaller one. That's the first one. I've got a feeling my battery's going to run out. That sounds a bit more lively, doesn't it? Right, let's pick. Last one. There we have one brake disc on a Razer E300 rear wheel. Still might need a little bit of adjustment, but we will get there. So what we need to do now is get this bad boy off. Too many projects in here. Can't move. Should go on there like that. Let me stick that on there. 
Right, and then we should. So what we're going to do now is put the wheel on. Right, so this is the caliper, and they actually give you a load of bolts um, to clamp it down. But the good thing they do 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 is give you this bar, and this bar sits on that. So you, all you have technically need to do is weld this bar somehow onto your frame when you're happy with the position and then you've got and you just basically bolt the caliper on and you can whip it off whenever you need to pretty cool actually right so what needs to happen is we need this bracket that you actually get in the kit we weld that straight to that back bit there. I know you're not going to be able to get this wheel off this way, but maybe we could uh, have it so it goes more at an angle. So if that sits there like that, that's perfect for that. We'll go, the cable will go along here, probably up and down. And then that's actually really cool. So I'm going to get my power dave to weld that bracket straight to this back frame here. Obviously we're probably gonna to have to cut this here so when we wanna take the remove the wheel out, obviously you just come back and then down rather than straight out. That shouldn't be an issue. Whip this off, get this over to Dave at some point in the next couple of weeks and see if we can weld it and then we'll get a brake cable and happy days. So that is part one how to put a brake disc on an E300 razor scooter as always guys thank you for watching uh, good luck with your builds and i'll catch you in the next one